250 million of your tax dollars was supposed to help feed hungry children. Instead, federal prosecutors say at least 47 Minnesotans pocketed that cash to pay for luxury rides, high-end jewelry, and coastal homes. WCCO's David Schumann shows us how the fraud operation worked and who's accused of running the entire operation. At the top of the U.S. Attorney's Chart Tuesday was Amy Bach of Feeding Our Future, a now dissolved nonprofit. Prosecutors say Bach and dozens of co conspirators defrauded the federal government out of a quarter billion dollars during the pandemic. It quickly became the ultimate get rich quick scheme. Bach and her co defendants are accused of lying about serving meals to thousands of children a day. These children were simply invented. So how did the defendants allegedly make money? The government reimbursed them for the meals the defendants claimed they served. Prosecutors say they claimed 125 million of them. There's no mistake, there's no misunderstanding, there's no confusion. What is spelled out in the charges details a blatant display of greed. They used this money that was supposed to be used for feeding children to buy houses in Minnesota, resort property and, and real estate, in Kenya and Turkey, luxury cars, commercial property, jewelry, and much more. People who work to fight hunger say fortunately there were enough real programs during the peak of the pandemic to help children. But now child hunger is becoming a real problem once again. We have heard countless stories of the hardships families have faced in recent months. We've seen the end of federal programs that were essential in helping families make ends meet throughout the pandemic. Parents are encouraged to reach out to their schools if they need help. David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Amy Bach, the alleged mastermind, has pleaded not guilty. Her attorney told us tonight that she continues to stand by her past claims that she never stole any money. Prosecutors say that more people could be charged in this case in the weeks and months to come.